Every time you visit your favorite website searching for new content and find none, you waste time. RSS feeds are a way to eliminate this process by bringing all of the latest content directly to you in one place. Let's say you check multiple blogs every day. Normally, you just go to each of them one by one looking for new content. But with RSS feeds, they're all in the same place. You can even make that place your homepage, a desktop icon, or an app on your phone. So what is RSS? RSS stands for Really Simple Syndication. It's ugly code that looks a lot like HTML. It's not user-friendly because it's not designed for people, it's designed for programs. These programs make RSS something that's pleasant to look at and easy to use, but we'll get to that in a bit. You can do a lot with RSS. For example, you can easily subscribe to all of your favorite news sites and organize them under a single folder called News. With services like Buffer and Hootsuite, you can automatically post content from your website to your social media accounts using RSS feeds. And with services like MailChimp, you can email your latest content directly to your subscribers. Okay, reasons you may be interested in using RSS. You are not comfortable subscribing to email newsletters. You use the internet at the pace of a turtle and or type slower than a four-year-old. Your internet is terribly slow. <clears throat> and you frequently read blogs or listen to podcasts. All right, so how to get started with RSS. To get started with RSS, you need something called an RSS reader. As of today, these are the most popular free readers. There are lots to choose from, so here's the three most popular readers. You can find them in the video description below. As this video ages, these readers may become outdated, so just search best RSS readers. Deciding which reader to choose ultimately comes down to preference. Just about everyone seems to use a different RSS reader. Next, you're going to want to subscribe to your favorite websites. Now that you have an RSS feed reader, you'll need to be on the lookout for the RSS icon. It looks like this. There's also older icons that look like this, but RSS buttons can look like just about anything. When you find the button, click it, and it will give you the information you need to get started. Sometimes you'll get an ugly page with code on it. If you get this page, copy the URL, go to the reader, look for something that says add subscription or add content, click it, and paste the URL. An RSS feed address could look just like a normal web address. For example, a feed could be something like this or this. Now that you've added your favorite websites, whenever these websites release new content, they will go directly to your RSS reader. That's it. It's that simple. Side note, some people say RSS is dead. And kind of. Many websites neglect RSS and instead use email newsletters, Facebook, or Twitter to notify fans of new content. However, for the world of podcasting, blogging, and news, RSS is very much alive and quite useful. Most blogs or news websites still use RSS, and nearly every podcast, including Growth Origin, uses an RSS feed. It's how feeds like iTunes and Google Play collect the newest episodes from thousands of podcasters. So that's everything you need to know to get started with RSS. Happy RSS. RSSing? RSS feeding. Yeah, happy RSS feeding.